When designing PlayStation 4, we had a vision of what gaming could become and created the necessary hardware to support it. We wanted a breadth of titles from AAA to indie, and so we made sure that PS4 was easy for developers to use. We believed in creating a frictionless experience for the gamer, and so we made sure to equip PS4 with a hard drive to shorten load times, as well as the required support for suspending and quickly resuming games and playing as you download them. With that hardware as a foundation, we were able to realize our vision. And as a result, a vibrant gaming community has grown around the console. PS4 Pro is not intended to blur the lines between console generations. Instead, the vision is to take the PS4 experience to extraordinary new levels. First and foremost, our goal is to deliver high fidelity graphical experiences. With that in mind, we more than doubled the power of the GPU and adopted many new features from the AMD Polaris architecture, as well as several even beyond it. A number of hardware innovations support efficient rendering for 4K displays, allowing titles on PS4 Pro to reach resolutions not thought to be possible on console in 2016. For those gamers and developers who put a premium on achieving the smoothest frame rate possible, we're boosting the clock rate of the CPU. We understand that continuity of experience is important to the PlayStation community. Existing games will play as you're accustomed to on PS4 Pro, and we're providing a number of mechanisms for easily transferring your game library and entitlements from the standard model to the new console. We're also equipping PS4 Pro with a one terabyte hard drive to ensure that you'll have plenty of space for new experiences. The result of all these improvements is a console that provides unparalleled experiences for the 4K TV owner and truly excellent enhancements for those using HDTVs as well. We'll give you a, a detailed look at those aspects of PS4 Pro today, as well as show how transformative high dynamic range is for gaming content and what the new console offers for VR. 4K TV sets deliver an unprecedented level of detail. Today, we have, as an industry, been supporting 720p and 1080p HDTVs with one or two million pixels. 4K TVs provide a staggering eight million pixels of display resolution. The achievable visual depth and detail are extraordinary. Brute force rendering techniques can, of course, be used to support these displays, but they have unfortunate consequences for console cost and form factor. So, with PS4 Pro, our strategy has instead been to foster streamlined rendering techniques that can take advantage of custom hardware. When coupled with best-of-breed temporal and spatial anti-aliasing algorithms, the results can be astonishing. The titles I'm about to show you are impressively close to realizing the complete potential of 4K displays. These scenes were recorded in real time from PS4, uh, from PS4 Pro hardware and are playing back in the theater on a 4K projector. For those of you watching this from home, after the show, we'll be making the footage available in 4K on video on demand so that you'll be able to better appreciate the quality of the imagery we are showing today. These first images are from Marvel's Spider-Man game, developed by Insomniac and announced at E3 this year. The detail of the city is incredible. Minute features such as the pedestrians in the distance would just be blurs on an HDTV set, but here they are crisp characters. As for Spider-Man himself, the texture of the suit is breathtakingly clear in a way that it could never have been before. Here is For Honor from Ubisoft running on the new console. What we look for in games, the intensity and authenticity of experience, has never been more apparent. What you may find surprising is that the models and textures being used here, whether they be for the environment or for these two historic warriors, are in fact the exact same ones that were created for the standard PS4. The difference is in the high rendering resolution that PS4 Pro can support. It is simply transformative. Long vistas and high-resolution geometry, as seen here in Deus Ex Mankind Divided from IDOS, also highlight the power of the console and capabilities of 4K displays. The extreme level of detail visible in the game environments and characters, such as augmented hero Adam Jensen, brings a greater intensity and welcome new reality to the experience.
that sense of reality can also heighten the level of emotional immersion, here bringing us closer to Lara Croft's unique combination of toughness and vulnerability. With Rise of the Tomb Raider, Crystal Dynamics has taken great care to apply the power of the hardware to all aspects of the game, whether it be Lara's hair, face, clothes through weapons, or the shaders, geometry, and special effects that give the environment solidity and realism. This is truly a showcase of how PS4 Pro can transform gaming. Next up are some scenes from Watch Dogs 2. I'll just let them speak for themselves. Finally, I'd like to show you some environments from Killing Floor 2. We know that diversity of gaming experiences is key to the appeal of PlayStation. Consequently, we've kept the simple programming model of PS4 intact, allowing smaller teams such as Tripwire to bring their titles to PS4 Pro and the new world of high-resolution displays. High Dynamic Range, or HDR for short, is without a doubt the most exciting advance in TV technology in the last decade. The world in which we live has an enormous range of luminosity from dark nights to brilliant skies. Human vision has evolved to make the most of it, as well as to perceive a very broad range of colors. Unfortunately, the display devices that almost all of us use today, I'll just call them conventional TVs, fail pretty dramatically at representing this range of luminosity and also can display only a fraction of the colors that the eye can see. HDR TVs do much, much better. Now for me, the, the really exciting part of this is that although games need to use different algorithms when rendering for HDR displays, typically involving deeper MRTs and tweaked tone mapping, supporting HDR does not require radical increases in processing power like 4K does. It's mostly a matter of connecting an HDR-capable device, such as PS4 Pro, to an HDR-capable display. To give you a feeling for the HDR difference, here's a picture of a San Francisco sunset. This is actually being shown to you using HDR TVs, but we are restricting the image quality to roughly what a conventional display can represent. Looks pretty, doesn't it? But here it is instead, using the full power of HDR. The difference is amazing. HDR is very new technology. Standards are, are still in flux, and the game creators are definitely still figuring out how to best take advantage of the displays. We will not expect all developers to initially support HDR on PS4 Pro, but for those that do, well, let me just give you a glimpse or two. Here is Days Gone from Sony's Ben Studio, once again restricted to what a conventional TV can display. So this is utilizing all the detail of 4K, but the luminosity and color are quite similar to what was shown at E3. I'm going to turn on HDR now and show you what changes. Whatever it is that your eye expects to see to convince you that something is real, HDR is supplying that. The colors in the clothes, the brightness of the sun, these all represent a level of photorealism that you've never experienced in a game. Daytime scenes are great for showcasing HDR, but nighttime scenes show its potential as well. Here the Freaker Horde has come out to feed. Luckily, crafting is a big part of Days Gone, and Deacon has managed to assemble a few Molotov cocktails.
Those who played Naughty Dog's Uncharted 4 may remember this interactive chase scene. You're now seeing it at much higher resolution and in HDR, which makes it even more of a spectacle. Part of why image quality improves so much with HDR is that it's possible to have key areas of the screen, such as these explosions, that are dozens of times brighter than what a conventional TV can display. This is Fetch, the hero in infamous light from Sucker Punch. Fetch is a superhero who can harness the power of neon lights. If you think that sounds like something that would show off HDR well, you'd be right. We believe that the potential of HDR is incredible. But you don't need a 4K TV or an HDR TV to experience the benefits of PS4 Pro. The game knows what sort of display the console is hooked up to, and consequently developers are free to tailor the experience to best fit the type of TV being used. So if you connect PS4 Pro to an HDTV, here's some of what you'll see. First up is a comparison of standard model and PS4 Pro graphics on Paragon. Epic Games has chosen to increase the quality of the graphics in a great number of ways. Enhanced visual effects, procedural ground cover, higher scene complexity, greater texture fidelity, dynamic reflections, and more. Warner Brothers is supporting HDTVs on Shadow of Mordor with a number of different modes. Here you can see how super sampling anti-aliasing is used to bring the detail of the high resolution imagery over to a 1080p display. This is For Honor from Ubisoft again, this time playing on an HDTV. You can see how the extra power of the new console is used to boost the visual density of the scenes and also to bring much of the impressive richness of the 4K graphics over to lower resolution displays. So you may have noticed that several of these titles, including Paragon, Infamous First Light, and Shadow of Mordor, are titles that have already been released. That's another aspect of the PS4 Pro experience. A number of games that you already own may have been patched to play better on the console. We're referring to this upgrading of your library as forward compatibility. Patches for over a half dozen first party titles are in the works, as well as quite a few from our third party partners. Finally, I'd like to show you how PS4 Pro works with a PSVR headset. We are very proud of the breakthrough experiences that the headset provides with the standard model. With PS4 Pro, the developers can choose to increase the crispness of the VR scenes, make special effects richer, or to offer higher frame rates, making your VR experiences even more immersive. For Farpoint, Impulse Gear chose to focus on the detail and reality of the scenes. They have roughly doubled the rendered pixel count from that of the standard model, allowing them to breathe further life into their virtual universe. With PS4 Pro, we aim to provide developers with the tools and technologies that can further their creative vision.